Hello everybody. Today on Easy Hack, we are gonna print and scan on Kali Linux with a Canon Pixma TS3322. Now, I repeat, we are going to print and scan a file into our printer over this printer is connected to our computer over our Wi-Fi wireless network. We set it up with a cell phone earlier today. So now if you want to set it up to print with your Kali Linux computer, follow my instructions. So go over to your printer's IP address. Now you will get to the screen. It's 192.168. whatever your IP address is for your printer. Click login. You know password unless you set one. So if you set one, remember it and type it in. I don't like all that feedback. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. So here we are in my printer. So now we would like to I'm pretty sure it's web service connection setup. IJ cloud printing center setup. This is the only way to do it. Register this service. Click register this for service. Register this printer to the IJ cloud printer. Yes. yada 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 it's pretty simple eh? this is the easiest uh, Linux installation I've ever done perform the authentication cloud printing service okay so it now brings you to your whatever it's loading let's see what it does do 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 loading 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 so basically we're gonna use the cloud the Google Cloud to scan our objects and to print whatever we want so I already set this up it's just basically going to tell you to sign in with Google and then you can go over to your IJ cloud printing center which looks like this guys here it is so select source auto scan photo document let's go photo paper size orientation all this jazz whatever right oh wow we actually have to do something so uh, let's go to uh, auto scan there we go that means it'll select everything automatically uh, yeah portrait yeah did data format JPEG 300 dpi wow that's or whatever unsharp on okay scan why won't let me scan it guys okay I've already done this it has already succeeded so I know that I'm not wasting my time recording this video so print and scan so we're gonna click scan I got a book in the scanner right now if I had a camera I would show you but obviously you don't have to see up my ugly face <laughs> so this is so it says scan here it's kind of confusing it doesn't scan so you're either gonna scan it to your Google Drive so that's what it's asking it's like scan to where it's not gonna let you scan to your computer because you got a Linux Kali Linux computer might as well just send it to your Google Drive because you're gonna wanna do some photo editing in Adobe or something so that's the whole reason you're just scanning it in Linux I don't know why but probably to email it so anyways or maybe that's all you got so uh, my drive here we're just gonna go next because it's gonna put it in my drive and then when I go to google.com click my drive see here we are paper size auto scan you click the scan button go stand beside your printer it's gonna make some noises because it's scanning now do you want to start scanning yes so I will open up the file right now and uh, it's pretty cool right right now I hear it scanning so I know it's physically working so we sent the command over the internet to our house to our scanner so we could be anywhere in the world doing this right now and could be like hey honey put that page from my book in the scanner and you could be in Mexico you click scan and your printer at home starts scanning but that is the only way to scan a document in Kali Linux I'm sorry to tell you but I've been 
looking into this for about a month now, trying to print in Kali Linux. So here we go, guys. It's still processing, processing. <laughs> I thought, you know, using Google to process my print would be fast, but and it's processing some more. Do, do, do. We're processing, processing, processing. She'll be coming around the mountains when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be coming around the mountains when she comes. She'll be processing, processing, downloading, downloading. She'll be processing, downloading when she comes. Yeehaw! Oh, so she's scanning. And she's processing. And she's processing some more. She's processing so much, I don't know how much more she can process. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Well, Google is sure turning into Microsoft and crashing all the time or something, I don't know. Is it crashed? Like, we are in a web UI right now. Processing out, processing out, processing out the door. Yeah. Hmm. Well, anyways, I know I'm going to get a bunch of views from this because nobody knows how to scan in Linux. As far as I know, this is the only way to do it with a Canon printer. Look at that. Save the data, file name. So that's because my internet's so slow. It's because it's taking the JPEG file from my scanner, which is probably a slow ass computer in that scanner because it's a $50 printer. It's uploading it through my Wi-Fi onto the Google Cloud. Now, we can open it. So we go to recent on our Google Drive right here. Boom, it's loading. Yeehaw, we're loading our web page. Oh, wow, that's done. And it should say, uh, right at the top, it should have our two documents we just scanned in. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of operating system you're using. It could be Mac, Windows, or Linux. It's all the same. No drivers, no nothing. After you set this up, you can scan it from anywhere in the world from your Google Drive. Isn't that neat? Or you can print it. And be like, hey, I'll leave a message at home for my woman. And print it. Makes chili for supper. And click print. And put the recipe there. And it prints it out. You know, seeing as it's a wireless printer, you can actually go and sit the printer on top of the, the, the counter and plug it in. <laughs> so she sees it. Anyway, see there's my scans right there, the time, 2158. Anyways, uh, hopefully that helps you guys out, easy hack out.